Driving it around, it's like everyone's gonna Tufty! stare at us. Like, <laughs> oh. I've already thought of what clothing you should wear. I think you should be wearing some hood up. I think you should have some shades on. You gotta own it. You gotta own this, that's, remember? That's, yeah, that's it. I'm going out. High vis. I'm gonna get a multi coloured high vis jacket. These colours, and I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna rock it with style. That is how we do. I'm doing a cool video today. It is Friday, it's early in the morning. The kids are no longer at school. It's Christmas, as you can tell, it's pretty obvious with the Christmas tree behind me. We're gonna be doing a transformation video on Street Ice Hire van. I'm really happy to film that, that transformation. Now I'm gonna be using some new gear, I've got a new lens. This is my partner's cup, and if she's watching this video now, she's gonna be upset that I'm using her cup. And I haven't really used the Ronin S that often. I've only used it like once, and that was for the Cuckoo Hollow underpass transformation. Uh, just wasn't really comfortable with the, the Ryan, so I'm hoping today I can get comfortable with it. I've only got like 55 minutes to get ready. I'll see you soon. Just came to the garage and uh, was running late, and um, thankfully he was running late too, and he came to the garage. Where's my key? So Nate decided that he wanted to uh, get the car cleaned before because um, you can't obviously spray onto something that's dirty. However, we've got here, you can't wash the car with a rack on the roof. So, what we're going to do instead, Nathan? Going to find another petrol station. Oh, I, I, I didn't expect you to say that. He originally said he was going to hand wash it. <laughs> Maybe I'll hand wash it. <laughs> I was kind of hoping you give some tips on this video today as well. Are you about to give some tips on this video today? I'm give loads of tips. <laughs> 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 right, we're going to find another one. <laughs> And he said he's going to pay him. He's going to pay for it, but I'm not going to pay him back. <laughs> I think it's like five or six, six quid. I don't want inside, I'm just going to get the outside done while I'm here anyway. So, hello, mate. Hello, mate. I paid that guy. Yeah, he said it was 20 quid for the outside and my yeah. 20 quid for both of them on the outside? Oh, yeah. 20 quid for both of them on the outside? I'm in a wealthy area. <laughs> Oh, we can't afford to live without, that's why you pay 10 All right, yeah, no worries. Uh, by the way, I'm not paying for it. Thanks, bye. <laughs> this beast is worth 350 quid. 350 quid. Uh, it's made you a lot of money, though. It's done all right. I paid 900 pounds for this car. That's got them specs off it, though, No, that's on the other side. I reckon you see Clinton paint, painted it. Alright, there we go then, no more messing around. I want to get this uh, get this video going. So um, I'm going to switch lenses now. And now um, I need to go ahead. He needs to wait for me. Right, here we go. Just masking up the lights, lights and windows, then we're ready for base coat. Any uh, any tips before making your commitment to spraying? Um, find another hobby. Fluorescent based paint. Um, it's it's not it's not translucent. That'd be the wrong word. The type of colour it is. It works a lot stronger on white. So I'm basically going to cover the whole van in white and then lay the coat on top and that'll give it a nice solid colour. But it's only because it's luminous. If I was painting it black or some other colour, I'd just spray it. I wouldn't even base coat it, I'd spray that straight on. It's purely because of the colour that it's having a white base coat first. Are you sad to see the uh, van change? Uh, no, because when I did it two years ago, it was because the car I was driving at the time went off the road and uh, the van, I had, I had the van, but it wasn't the most presentable. So um, I did it all in a bit of a rush. I did it through the night, about 10, 12 hours painting. And it was just like, whatever it finished like at that next morning, that was whatever it was. People contact me like saying, oh, like, I've seen the van like driving on this road or this road, and that's how they've um, come in contact. Uh, that's, that's how they've made the connection. At 
absolute disaster. I took it like back to bare metal. Like it's still a bit wet. Ah, right, look at it. Oh no. I don't know how long, honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do now. Paint's still a little bit soft. Don't do it like me. Don't do it like me. If you paint there, you turn up spray at me. You mean you have problems. That is exactly what my wife would tell you. Guess out of 10 jobs, how many times do things go wrong from uh, the job? Maybe half. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Trusty! <laughs> oh. Right. I'm hoping after the next scene that we will uh, have cured it. Just get it up and make it work. Alright, let's go. Are you a little bit happy about it now? A little bit. It's not perfect, but... Seems a lot smoother. What are you going to do if it does the same thing again? It's alright, I just have to keep going over it. The top one didn't shake it, so the, um, salt, the paint had a mix. And that one was um, something we'd caught. So your top tip for today is shake your cans. Yeah. <laughs> and you've been smacking it on the floor, you've been smacking it on the wall, you've been smacking it across his head. Uh, what would be your tip to uh, overcome that? Generally, some of the paints are quite thick. So this brand, you get you, it's quite heavily pigmented. So you get sometimes you get like a bit of like cheesy paint that comes out at the end. Uh, first thing I did, try compress. The, um, the valve inside, so hitting it, crushing it down wise, that's why it's all crushed there. Um, and that generally sometimes worked, that didn't work. Then it's stamping on the side a little bit, not really <laughs> sure why we do that. This is the man that said that it would he'd be done by 4.30 and it's now after nine. <laughs> <laughs> so a little bit worried about the colours. I was definitely worried about the colours at first. When he sent it to me through WhatsApp last night, I was like, yeah, it's back. But then when I started to see it unreal and come together, I started to realise what, what has he done. Driving it around, it's like, everyone's gonna <laughs> stare at us like, oh. I've already thought of what clothing you should wear. I think you should be wearing some hood up. I think you should have some shades on. You gotta own it. You gotta own this, that's, remember. That's, yeah, that's it. I'm going out. High vis I'm gonna get a multi-coloured high vis jacket, these colours, and I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna rock it with style. That is how we do. Happy with your result? I'm happy with my result. <laughs> I wasn't told to say that at all. It just needed a refresh. You can do it again next year. No. Not doing it next year. <laughs> no. No, because the first time I did it, it was in a rush. So it was like, uh, you know, car went off the road, van looked not very good. So I had to quickly make it look good. So it was, it was all a bit of a rush, whereas this was a planned job. Well, that's us. If you want to watch the full video without all the vlogging, you can uh, check it out on our YouTube channel. We're now officially YouTubers. We've got intros, we've got music, and we've got a face now. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and um, we'll see you soon. Okay, that was it. I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to watch the entire video from start to finish of the transformation, um, there's a link in the description um, which takes you straight to our Facebook page. If you do like the video, please feel free to like the page. It really helps and supports uh, us and keeps us going. Our first kind of presence to YouTube. So a few videos on, on this channel is a very new channel and we wanted to have this presence where we was able to offer free advice, tutorials and tips along the way with our clients' jobs um, so that you're able to learn and get more of a behind the scenes. Uh, the highest majority of our videos on our Facebook and Instagram, you usually just see the transformation. We decided last year 
um, that we wanted to build the confidence, build the community so that we was able to have two platforms where you can see the, the final product from start to finish and you can see um, behind the scenes. So things to expect from this channel, why should you subscribe to us? This channel is going to be used for tutorials and tips on graffiti or street art. I've noticed that we'll come across some problems and in most cases with Nathan there's always a problem. As artists we do get uh, requests if we're able to build other things that go in line with the theme of what we're painting. So for example a World War II uh, themed outside kind of area um, for the young kids. We're going to have a tank originally going to be spray painted but then we said why don't we build one um, but that's why we thought it would be a good idea to capture those moments create the content so that you can see what happens when we do have a problem we are able to fix it um, and then you can learn from those mistakes now on this channel there's also going to be tutorials on music workshops myself kieran Stills, aka skilly skills human beatboxer I'll be giving tips along the way when hopefully you can go back into schools and you'll see engaging and interacting with uh, classes of 30 and how to create a lesson plan, how to execute that plan and how to generally just teach in a good positive way uh, without giving yourself too much work. So predominantly recently I've been doing the highest majority of the filming for Studios High and as you see before I was on the going on about this lens, the Sigma 1.8. Highly recommend it for the highest majority of most of your jobs if you're going to be close enough. It's just an absolute great bit of kit. For anyone that wants to get into filming other street artists, then hopefully I'll be able to give you some tips on how to not get paint onto your lenses. But if you'd like to watch the full video of the transformation of the van, there's a link in the description and that'll take you straight to our Facebook page. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you drop a like on there. It makes me feel very warm inside and it helps us grow um, on our social platforms as well. So this is it. This is pretty much our introduction to you YouTube. So hello, how are you? I'm Kieran Stills. That was Nathan. Uh, there's a few members that you'll you'll meet quite soon. <sighs> My light has just gone out. That means that it's probably time to end this video. So again, if you like this video, please share it. Please subscribe. Please like. Do all that stuff. Do that. Anyone notice that the uh, Christmas tree has disappeared? Well, that is because apparently Christmas was cancelled this year. See you in the next video.